I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to address the World Parks Congress with this video message today. At WHO, we are aware of the growing body of evidence that biodiversity loss is happening at unprecedented rates. There is increasing recognition that this is a fundamental risk to the healthy and stable ecosystems that sustain all aspects of our societies. Human health is not immune from this threat. All aspects of human well-being depend on ecosystems, goods and services, which in turn depend on biodiversity. Biodiversity loss can destabilize ecosystems, promote outbreaks of infectious diseases, and undermine nutrition security and protection from natural disasters. Protecting public health from those risks lies outside of the traditional roles of the health sector. It relies on working with partners, engaging conservation, and the sustainable use and management of natural resources. In this regard, I would like to express my appreciation for the leadership that the Secretariat of the Convention on Biological Diversity has shown in promoting the linkages between biodiversity and health and for their collaboration with WHO. We have carried out a series of activities together. We have reviewed the interconnections between the three 92 Rio Conventions on Biodiversity, Desertification and Climate Change, and highlighted their implications for the protection and promotion of human health. This helped very much to support the preparations for the Rio Plus 20 United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development which recognize the intrinsic value of biodiversity and its role as a critical foundation for sustainable development and human health and well-being. The two organizations have also worked together to raise awareness of the complex linkages between ecosystems and human health through workshops bringing together health and conservation professionals in Africa and Latin America. To go further, to convince decision makers that they need to act and to guide them on what to do, we need evidence. And most recently, we have brought together some of the world's leading scientists in this field to produce a new report. This is the new report, Connecting Global Priorities, Biodiversity and Human Health, a State of Knowledge Review. This report synthesizes the available information on the most important interlinkages, for example, between biodiversity, ecosystem stability, and emerging inf infectious diseases, such as the Ebola virus, and the connection between biodiversity, nutritional diversity, and health. It also covers the potential benefits of closer partnerships between conservation and health from improved surveillance of infectious diseases in wildlife and human populations, to promoting access to green spaces, to promote physical activity and mental health. Of course, it also highlights the many areas in which further research is still needed. Although we have a long way to go, it is very encouraging to see that national governments are taking this field of work seriously. I very much welcome the news that the Conference of the Parties to the CVD last month passed its first decision specifically on strengthening the link between biodiversity and health. This collaboration between United Nations organizations and the back of national gover governments is important. This is, however, only one small part of what needs to happen to promote healthy environments and healthy people as part of the overall goal of sustainable development. We look forward to working jointly with the Convention of Biological Diversity and the International Union of Conservation of Nature, all of those colleagues, and the wider conservation community to support this important agenda. I wish you a lot of success in this important meeting.